So hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be creating this cool concrete style text animation inside After Effects which you can use it for future projects and even various videos. So I have opened up my After Effects and the first we need to create a new form. Let's name it main form and also I will reduce the duration to 5 seconds for the tutorial. Hit OK. Now let's select our text too. And in the character panel, I will choose my font. I'm using Monument Extended Ultra Bold and change its color to white. Okay, so now let's type our text concrete text. Oh, sorry, let's correct it concrete text animation. Sorry, text effect. And let's adjust the size and alignment. And I'll align it to the center of the comp. Now let's pre-compose our text layer and rename it to text.com. The reason for doing the pre-comp is so that we can change the text anytime you want without any problem. Let's say pre-comp works as a smart layer from Photoshop. Now in the project panel, I will drag and drop it our rock texture layer which is provided in the description to download and follow along the tutorial. And we will pre-compose it and rename it to rock texture. Hit OK. Let's drag it below our text comp and turn off the visibility of our text comp layer. Now in effects panel, search for CC glass effect and add it to our rock texture comp. In surface, we will change our bump map to text comp and softness, I'll reduce it to around 6. And for the height, I'm going with minus 15. and leave the displacement as it is since I think it's looking good also let's change our track map to text form so that our texture is visible only in the text section and not in the whole screen the next effect we will be adding CC blobilize so drag and drop it into our texture comp we will change our blob layer to text comp and reduce the softness to around you can leave the cutaway section as it is I choose the value to around 10 and in the light section you can play around with the intensity color height and the direction and even you can animate it So let's create a keyframe for our light direction. Let's animate it. And move to the last frame of the comp and change its value to 3. Okay, so our animation part is done. You can see the light movement. Now I will add the background which I downloaded it from Envato. So this is the background that I will be using. So let's drag and drop it into our main comp. Let's make it fit to comp. As you can see the concrete text and the background is looking way different from each other. So to fix this we will add curves effect into our texture layer. And adjust the red and blue channel to get the yellow tone which we want. Okay, I think it looks fine. You can take your time. Now in the project panel, I have a falling bullets overlay which I downloaded from YouTube. I will leave down the link in the description. I want my clip to start from this section. Okay, so to remove the green screen, I will add an effect called key light. 
can see the edges are not looking good. So in the screen match section, I will reduce the screen shrink value. We can also add curves effect to match it with the scene if it's needed. So I think I will add a curves effect into our bullet comp layer and adjust it to match it with the seam. Okay, now I think it looks good. As you can see, the bullet is looking see-through. So to fix that, I will adjust the screen balance. So now it's time for our text animation part. So open the text comb and in the effects panel, search for typewriter effect and drag and drop it into our text layer. Hit U in the keyboard to see the keyframes and let's adjust the timing of our animation. Also in the advanced section, you can choose a style of animation from characters to words as you want. I'll go with the practice style animation. Okay, so now we'll create a new null layer. And then we'll parent our text, comp and the background to the null layer. And now we can add some scale animation to add some subtle effects. Sorry, certain movement to it so that it doesn't look boring. So now what if you want to add another text after it? So for this we will move our cursor to where we want our first text to end. Then click Ctrl Shift D and delete it. And then we'll duplicate both our text and texture layer and place it where we want our text animation to start from. So select the text comp and right click and go for reveal layer source in project. Now duplicate the text comp and select the text comp by holding alt and drag and drop it into the text comp. New text comp. And now you can change the text without affecting the first comp. Let's change the text to thank you for watching this tutorial, which I really am. This feature will be handy when you will be working with the comps at once. And in the texture comb, we will change the bump map and the blob layer to text comb 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Have a nice day.